Hi kids! Welcome back to your Bible True Story. And this morning, I will be your Bible True Story teller. Our story is about Joshua's shout. In Joshua 25, verse 15 says, Choose this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. After Moses died, the Lord spoke to Joshua, saying, Get ready to cross the Jordan River. The promised land awaits you. I will walk with you, Joshua, as I did with Moses. I will make you a strong leader, so be courageous and obey my laws. Joshua shouted to the people, Get ready, for in three days we cross the Jordan River into the promised land. At that time, there were people already living in Canaan. Joshua knew that he must defeat them if they were going to possess the land. Wisely, he sent two spies into the great walled city of Jericho. Soon, he would know their strength and if they were preparing for battle. The two spies secretly crossed the Jordan and entered Jericho. They stayed with a woman named Rahab, but the king soon found out. He sent messengers to Rahab, who said, Bring out the two men who are spying on us. We know they're here. Secretly, Rahab had hidden the two men on the roof of her house. They were here, but they're gone. Perhaps you can catch them on the roof if you hurry, just before nightfall. Rahab went back to the roof and said to the spies, I have helped you. Now you must help me. I know that the Lord is mighty and he has given this land to you. When the battle comes, save me and my family. The men agreed that if Rahab would not tell the king about them, they would save her family. Rahab's house was part of the great wall. So that night, the men climbed out of Rahab's window, down a long road, and escaped into the hills. The spies returned to Joshua. The Lord is surely giving our people this land. The Canaanites are afraid of us. Three days later, Joshua said to the people, Tomorrow, we cross the Jordan River. The ark of the Lord will go before you. Follow behind it, for great is our Lord. Then come another miracle. As soon as the priest carrying the ark set foot in the rushing current of the Jordan River, the water stopped flowing. The Israelites would then pass through the river on dry ground. God had made a way like he had done at the Red Sea. Not until the last person came out of the river did the waters flow again. As Joshua neared the city of Jericho, he met a strange man with his sword drawn. Joshua went to him and said, Are you for us or against us? I command the invisible army of the Lord. He replied, Joshua fell faced down with fear and respect. Then the Lord told Joshua what he must do to win the coming battle. The day of the battle came, seven priests blowing seven trumpets march around the city of Jericho one time. The Ark of the Lord was right behind them. An armed guard marched ahead of the priest and followed up behind the Ark. They circled Jericho once and no one spoke a single word. What are they doing? cried the people of Jericho. God is going to destroy us. They were afraid. God commanded Joshua and his army to march around the city each day for six days. On the seventh day, the people marched around Jericho seven times. But the seventh time, just as the priest sounded the trumpet blast, Joshua commanded the nation, Shout! For the Lord has given you the city. Shout! Shout! The people shouted, and the trumpets blasted louder and louder until the walls of Jericho began to crack and came tumbling down. The city was captured. Rahab and her family who had helped them were saved. Today's Bible truth 
The Lord is mighty. Say it again with me, kids. The Lord is mighty. 